Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Despande, and in this video I just want to introduce you guys to the problem of text classification. And so I just, I just want to give this kind of brief overview of what it is and a little bit about kind of the specific thing and we're going to kind of go through like an example uh, and um, we'll, we'll uh, then move on to how we can actually perform this kind of classification. So the problem of this text classification, and actually sometimes it's also called document classification. So document classification, document classification. So so the the challenge with uh, you know document classification is given a given an input uh, document, right? There's some text in it. We want to be able to Put it into several different, you know, in one or, uh, in some cases, more uh, different bins. Like, uh, like for example, something like if I had, if I were given some kind of uh, of document, maybe I want to know whether it's an invoice. Here's a possible bin it could go into, or maybe it's a receipt. So here's another possible know bin it could go into and and then so on and so on and so just looking at the text of a document I want to be able to tell what kind of document it is and as you probably guess this requires uh, supervised learning but you know it, it's a bit more challenging than what we what we've seen uh, before because instead of just having those uh, X's and O's on that nice two-dimensional plane we're dealing with text data, and computers are really great at handling numerical data, but with text data, they're they're not as good. Humans, on the other hand, we can look at text data, and and it's fine. Looking at large amounts of numerical data for humans can be kind of tedious and and error prone, but for computers, they love that stuff. So, uh, we're going to discuss a, a bit later how we can take textual data, we have to take textual data and convert it into some kind of numerical representation so that we can work with it uh, using like machine learning algorithms. We should be able to work with it when it's numerical data because machine learning algorithms operate um, on numerical data. And so we have to find some way to convert this into a, convert the words into a numeric representation so that we can we can uh, work with them a bit better. You know, in particular, a good example that's uh, a good example that's used for text classification is suppose I have an email, and I basically want to categorize it as spam or not spam, also called ham. But if I'm given an email, I want to determine if it's spam or not spam. And this is actually, you know, a lot of email services already have a built-in way uh, to do this. And like, for example, like Gmail or uh, Outlook, Microsoft's stuff. All you know, all of these companies already have ways that you can give it a new input email, detect whether it's uh, spam or ham. And so we're gonna kind of this is a good example to use because it's simple enough that you know, there are only two categories, and so this is really just a binary problem, whether it's spam or not uh, spam. And so it's a bit easier to understand than maybe this uh, top uh, example here with, or I have a document I want to put it into different classes, because it might be the case that it belongs in more than one of these uh, classes. For example, I mean, I could get a, a receipt that's also an invoice, or, you know, I can kind of mix and merge these, these things. But with something like email classification, like spam, uh, spam filtering. It's really either spam or not spam. There's no, uh, there's no, there's no combination. And so, uh, just to just to recap, we want to look at the the text of this email, the words on this email, because some words are more uh, indicative of an email message being spam than others. And so we want to look at the text of this email, uh, including you know lots of information, and we want to build and construct an AI that given a new email message, we can, it can determine if it's spam or not, and then route it to either your inbox or your spam folder. And like I mentioned before, supervised learning is a great way to, to accomplish this task. 
Um, we can give our AI lots of examples, labeled examples, of messages that are spam and messages that are not spam, and then it should be able to learn what kind of words or what kind of, you know, other characteristics or spam messages have and then apply them to the new uh, to a new input document and so uh, like I mentioned in order to do this we have to have a numerical representation but uh, let's assume we have this uh, right now some it's already there we'll deal with that uh, a bit uh, a bit later but I also uh, want to mention that text classification isn't just used for this uh, like spam something like spam filtering it actually has a ton of you know different applications spam filtering is just one of them but there's also a sentiment analysis so sentiment sentiment analysis which is given the uh, text of a document or actually it's very popularly used for social media given like a tweet or a Facebook post or uh, you know something like that. I want to be able to determine the sentiment of the, uh, you know, of just the sender or the creator. So you know, I want to be able to tell is the sender angry or upset or you know other things like that. And there's certain words and phrasings that are used um, in that sense, and we can try to predict you know the sentiment of the uh, of the sender, for example. This is especially popular in social media, so you can like mine lots of social media data, there's been a lot of work there, and then try to run sentiment analysis uh, on that. Another thing it's also used for is a book classification. Book classification. And what I mean by that is just given a book, maybe like maybe its title or you know, something like that, we want to be able to tell what genre it is, for example. And so given the you know, given some information about the book, like the title, the author, or something like that, we want to be able to tell what genre it is. And this is super useful because then you don't have to have, like, uh, some, like, manual people uh, that have to re have to make these decisions uh, themselves because it, it might get tedious or maybe they have more important things to do. This is something that we can delegate to a machine learning algorithm with uh, some pretty decent accuracy. So there's been some work with um, automatic, given a book, you can tell what genre it is, for example, or even like categorize it even further. Um, you know, and, and another thing that I want to mention, um, another popular use of this is called uh, readability. Readability. And and with readability, it is uh, more like given a passage of text, I want to determine things like, you know, what level of what reading or comprehension level you need to understand this passage or more accurately you know given like those some of the words in this passage what is the kind of like the expected reading level uh, for example so you might notice that if you have like a like a an elementary school or a primary school sort of reading level the words might be just one or two syllables and they're fairly, the sentence structure is fairly simple and and you know but as you kind of go up to more like scientific writing or like um, you know, graduate school writing, for example, then you notice that words become uh, more, uh, have, you know, they're longer words, they're more complicated uh, words, maybe the sentence structure has also, it, it's different, it, the structure varies, it's, you know, more uh, complicated, and, you know, so readability assessments, we can look at text, we can look at the words, the sentence structure, to kind of assess a passage and determine if it's Know, what level of reading comprehension um, would be assigned to that passage of text. So that's where I'm going to stop here. So just to recap, text classification is this, or document classification is this problem of given some text input, I want to assign some label to it. And so I can assign labels like invoice, receipt, medical record, and so on. Or um, the example that's nice to look at is email filtering. And that is, you know, given an email, I just wanted to, t to say whether it's spam or not spam. And I can use the words inside of the email to kind of help me make this determination. And I, I mentioned that there are more, uh, plenty of different applications of text classification. I mentioned sentiment analysis of social media, book classification to uh, tag books with genres, and readability uh, to determine whether a passage, to what uh, level we can tag a passage, like primary, elementary school, up to 
like scientific college, like grad school sort of thing. So um, that is tech classification.